everyone, uh, we are here at Dark the Live Club and we are talking with the Herb Alter. Just... Okay, let's go. Uh, it's so good to see you here for this festival. And I have uh, a curiosity. How does uh, your group come to life? How did you born? Uh, and which is the real relationship with mythology and the beginning of your group? It's a long time ago, it's like yeah. in, in 2003. Yeah. yeah. We had some material, mm -hmm. me and Ragnar, we were working on, but didn't fit. Our mm -hmm. uh, band we were playing in was Isola, okay. and the songs didn't really fit, so we decided to breathe some life in those old songs okay. in a, under a new name. Yes. So that's, that's, uh, actually the birth of the uh, airbound. Of your group. And uh, why do you decide uh, to transform uh, those Nordic traditions into music? Well, uh, from the start, I think we had the idea of doing some fantasy lyrics or something like that, but uh, in the end, uh, I think uh, Northern mythology is kind of interesting and uh, yeah, I something agree. I read really lot about it. I decided or we decided to make everything to connect with our inheritance instead of mm -hmm. making some silly power metal fantasy yeah, okay. music. So it's that's an intelligent choice. It is. That's actually, an important because it's, uh, it's a real history in some of the lyrics and, uh, and uh, that's a great point actually because uh, as you say uh, when you have a background uh, which you can use as a base, why don't? Why don't you use it? It's just a, a, an intelligent uh, uh, thing to, to start from. And so, you have uh, now 10 years behind you, am I correct? 14 years. Oh God. And how uh, did you uh, change your style? How do you see your future? Last couple of years, we tried to unify black metal with mm -hmm. uh, epic metal mm -hmm. to do it in a seamless way to make uh, our version of Scandinavian metal uh, building on atmospheres. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you have to have the raw stuff and the epic stuff to make it uh, more dynamic. Okay, okay, so uh, dynamism is what you try to put uh, Yeah, atmosphere and dynamics atmosphere? is a uh, very important okay. ingredient in our music. Okay, and so, uh, Natram, is, did I pronounce it? Natram. Natram, it's, it's okay, this way, okay. It's your uh, last uh, studio album, huh? and uh, 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 what do you show your ability in fusing uh, uh, Doom and uh, Viking style and a two core narration? Uh, how does uh, those two styles live together in you? Well, I don't think uh, it's only Doom and Epic Metal because I think that's kind of the same. Mm -hmm. I think we have uh, another ingredient that's more important, yeah, yeah. that's the Black Metal parts. Yeah make it fierce, uh, cutting edges along the way with the epic feeling. Mm -hmm. so uh, That's the note, the plus note you have. Yeah. And so, talking about music uh, uh, culture, which groups and musicians have uh, most influenced you? Well, it's, uh, I think it's Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. Ah, okay. You agree? Definitely. Yeah? Uh, me as well. really. And... Uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> Our main is a big part in it, but I think uh, we catch the influences from, uh, from everywhere. Uh, okay. We've been around for so long and we, we grew up with heavy metal, so it's heavy metal in the bottom. And, then we have uh, our native folk music from Sweden. Uh, we use it when we sing. Uh, 
You're open minded. <laughs> so it's uh, fucking Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> No, but they're the best fucking British band. <laughs> you have a, a man named uh, Ace that mm-hmm. was uh, releasing a couple of albums in the uh, 80s and 90s. Mm-hmm. Okay. And late uh, 2000, uh, his band was named Bathroom. It's been a huge influence too. Okay, it was the next question I was going to ask you. So uh, let's put it clear. Uh, you have been compared to Battery actually. And uh, um, how do you feel this uh, kind of comparison? Uh, it's very hard to compare to your idols. Yeah. Uh, well, but also I, I'm flattered. But uh, you're flattered. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, to me, he, he's, he was a pioneer in both black metal and mm-hmm. epic Viking metal. So it's uh, he's a legend in Sweden. Yeah. Well, that's good. Because <laughs> I'm flattered to be. Compared with Battery, mm-hmm. it's, it's not much to say about it, but uh, I, I don't see many bands doing the old school Viking metal nowadays. Uh, to me, it's uh, the, the Viking metal of today is, is not how it was for me when I, I grew up. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to revive the feeling that I had when I, when I heard for the first time. Okay, so, well actually, it's a dream that comes true. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. And so, last question. I'd like to ask you, how do you see the musical world around you? And especially, what do you think of uh, la- uh, mm, Latin hits? Uh, uh, does uh, think <laughs> I want you to be sincere. You can say everything you want. Everything is before 1991 is pure shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a high five. <laughs> totally agree with you. Okay. And that's from my heart. Uh, and uh, I agree with you from my own. And so, here again. Thank you so much, you'll be so kind, uh, and uh, we'll see you later on a stage. So, bye-bye. Thank you so much.